The witnesses said that the truck hit the bumper here. Christy and Jeff Welsh's van looks good now, but here it is this summer. It's bumper wrecked after being involved in a hit and run in a British Columbia grocery store parking lot. The witnesses said that he hit it um, and then his bumper got entangled with our bumper. And so he went back and forth to like try to dislodge the a number of from times each other. and then took off and then ultimately just ripped it off like drove forward yeah. with speed to rip it off through the parking lot. Again, one o'clock in the afternoon in a grocery store. The driver was ticketed by the Mounties. The damage total was over two grand. So Christy contacted ICBC, an insurer owned by the government of British Columbia. Every vehicle in BC must have its basic plan. So the first flag was calling ICBC and being told that they won't talk to me and it has to go through my insurance company. Here's the deal. Since May of last year, BC banned most lawsuits for bodily injury and vehicle damage, moving to a no-fault system. For Canadians, no lawsuits means rates fell by an average of 28% and no maximum limits for medical care and recovery after an accident. For Americans, it means if you get in a crash in BC, you're on your own. I mean, it just seems you had no idea, though. No idea. Total surprises. I think what you need to know is that you're liable 100% no matter what happens. Somebody could T-bone you, and you're still going to be, it's going to be against you. I called you about this Canada thing. What did you think? Uh, I was just absolutely stunned. I've never heard of something like this before, and uh, it's, it worries me that a lot of people don't know about it. Kenton Bryan is with the Northwest Insurance Council. The group represents several of the major insurance companies in the region. He says if you only have liability insurance on your car, drive very carefully in BC. The coverages that you need are the coverages that protect you, your passengers, and your vehicle. And those are coverages like personal injury protection, comprehensive coverage, collision coverage, and underinsured and uninsured motorist coverage. Those are the policies that protect you, your passengers, and your vehicle. I contacted ICBC and was told the same story in a written statement, saying, if an out-of-province vehicle is damaged in a crash in BC, the ban on lawsuits applies, and each insurer is responsible for paying for the repair costs of its customer's vehicle. What if we had been in the car? What if our car hadn't been drivable and we would have had to rent a car and somehow get it back to the U.S.? I mean, there's a lot of, this was a very best case scenario for a learning experience. It could be a lot worse. Jesse Jones, Cairo 7 News.